Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a haul that I haven't done in a long time. We're gonna be doing some stuff from H&M. I've been shopping for the holidays. It is, I think, officially the first year since we're able to have like big formal get togethers again. I know like last year people tried, but it was still relatively low key. And then the year before it was just like straight up no. I don't know if I could have lasted another year without like a proper Christmas holiday celebration. So I'm just so excited that we get to do them finally again this year and I wanted to update my closet a little bit with some new like sparkly pieces that I saw so let's just jump right into the haul. I grabbed a bunch of stuff from H&M, came in a box so I'm gonna show you what I got today. Very excited. Some of these pieces I had my eye on for a little while so let's go. This very first one is from their new studio collection. I had super high hopes for this. It looked really cool. It is this silver kind of foiled dress shirt. I like that it has buttons here like snap buttons instead of actually pull through ones so it makes it really easy to get on and off and these pockets also have buttons and they're functioning pockets, which is really cool because oftentimes when it comes to fast fashion, a lot of this stuff it just doesn't function. It's just there for decor. Another thing I want to show you guys are these shoulder, I don't know what these are called. Can somebody tell me what these types of strap things are called? Because I don't know the name for them, but I thought they looked really cool. Gave it kind of like a more formal tailored look. You guys may have just saw Kobe jumped up and he's now chilling here next to me. It's surprisingly comfortable on the inside. I was worried that this material would feel really itchy. You guys have definitely felt this material before. It's like plasticky, not the best but really really cute shimmery silver and perfect for the holidays the inside is comfortable so don't worry about that and the sleeves i love they were nice and long everything is just so like tailored nicely the only issue that i'm having with this is that this is an extra small it fits me everywhere else except for the waist so you'll see in the cutaway that for some reason this part down doesn't fit on me unless i pull it super high up so either somebody has an extremely long torso and my torso has just like shrunk or you're supposed to wear this way up but then it gets like super bulgy in the top and it just doesn't look pleasant so i don't know what's going on with the shirt i had such high hopes for it until i put it on and i felt like guys i kid you not i thought i looked like michael jackson like i'm not even joking that's how bad this looked on me so this is going back 100 i just I loved it online. It just didn't translate well in person. So I feel like H&M kind of saved me money that way. This is part of their studio collection. So I just honestly thought it would have been tailored a little bit better, but unfortunately it wasn't. So bye-bye. Next up is kind of similar-ish, but it's more like a blouse. It's in this shimmery type of charcoal gray color. I thought this was beautiful on. It feels really cool on the skin. It's that type of material that's never going to make you feel hot. So if you're going somewhere cold, just make sure you layer up underneath or you have a jacket to wear over top or else you're going to feel really chilly in this. It fits nicely. My only qualm with this is the side slits. So I don't know why everybody loves to have slits this high up on the sides here. It just... I don't know. If you're gonna have a long shirt like this, I feel like it should be finished all the way at the bottom or just don't curve it and have a slit that goes this high up. I hate having the sides of my pants revealing. It's just, it's not cute. If I want to use this as like a shirt dress, I can't because then it goes so high up and I have to wear something underneath now. So I like it except for that slit on the side. So I don't know. I don't think it's gonna translate the way I want it to translate and I can't wear it the way I want it to wear, which is kind of like a shirt dress with maybe a belt in the middle. So I'm gonna be returning this one, which is a little bit unfortunate because I like the color. I like the shimmer on the material. I don't own anything like this. And you guys know I have a thing for blouses. So I was hoping to add to my blouse collection, but it's going to be going back. So again, H&M, you just save me more money by making it not fit and look the same way I wanted it to. This next top is also from the studio collection. And I had very high hopes for this one until I started thinking about the practicality of it. So it's this kind of like organza black top with these circular ruffles. You guys know those frisbees that you can kind of like fold down and collapse or a reflector for a camera. This is exactly the same style. It has like curved metal on the edges and it's actually finished really nicely for the material that they used. I couldn't notice any issues with this. It's a beautiful piece. Obviously because it's from the studio line, it's made a little bit nicer and I love the sleeves. It's very comfortable. It's a super boxy fit and I thought it was cool because these sleeves actually curve like this. So when you put your arms straight into it, it kind of bunches up on the outside. It gives it a little bit more dimension and texture to it. Now, my only qualm with this is that it is like an organza. So it's very, very see-through. You can see everything on underneath. I think free the nip and I think it's like a fashion statement to just like not wear anything under. But I would personally recommend wearing a bra of some sort just to cover yourself up a little bit give yourself some extra coverage or a bodysuit if you're going to be wearing this over top of something with like say skirt my other problem with that is that because it is mesh the see-through i can resolve but because it's mesh and this is kind of what i want to wear for the holidays it's gonna get cold so you're gonna want a jacket now if you see in the cutaways this kind of circular section here goes all the way around your shoulders and i do not for the life of me know what jacket is going to fit over top this is going to be one of those shirts where you're either going to smush it if you wear a jacket and it's just not going to have the same construction 
shape or design as it ever will from when you purchase it until you take the jacket off because you're gonna really crush it or you're gonna have to change into this top whenever you get to wherever you're going just to get the full effect without damaging the shirt. Or the other option is to just risk being cold and not wearing a jacket. So I think all of those three options are just not valid in my head and not practical. So unfortunately, even though I loved this top and I thought it looked really cool, I'm gonna have to return it to H&M just because it's not gonna pan out the way I wanted to. And I don't wanna have more headaches when I already have to like address myself and take care of Harrison wherever we're going. I just want the transition from me getting from home to place to be as smooth as possible. And I know this top is just gonna give me a nightmare. So unfortunately I will be returning this. And again, thank you H&M again for saving me more money. It is a very beautiful top though. And if it wasn't a practicality issue, like say I live somewhere in California where I can get away with wearing something like this without a jacket, I would have kept this. But alas, we live in Canada. It gets really cold in the winter here. It goes down to like minus 40 sometimes. So I'm not trying to risk that. This will be going straight back. I had reservations for this dress. You guys know I have a thing for sequins. So I found this one. It is beautiful. I don't know what sort of iridescent sequins they used for this but it kind of looks like a mermaid scale tail situation. It just reflects the light so beautifully. It has like blue or purple sheens or even yellow sheens, depending on like how you're looking at it from the light. It's just very comfortable on. It has like a slight cowl neck, but not too low that it's gonna reveal anything. Cause you guys know I have a problem with cowl necks where my boobs always come out whenever I'm wearing them. But this one doesn't give me that issue. So it has like a slight cowl neck and the actual armpits are actually a lot larger than what I thought it would be. It comes down really low, but it doesn't really reveal anything. So I don't have the biggest problem with that. I just prefer if it was a little bit smaller so it looks a little bit better tailored for my body. It's stretchy so you don't really have to worry about breaking any sequins and there's no zip to make this dress easier to get into. I'm much more used to dresses having zips when it comes to sequins but because it is stretchy my only concern is I don't know if the thread that they use to tie the sequins on is also going to stretch with it and when it comes to sequins they pop off so easily. All it takes is one thread to pop out and then the whole line is gone forever. I think it's beautiful but it's not exactly Exactly what I envisioned in myself when it comes to sequins for a dress. It looks a little bit too summery because of the rainbow colors. I wanted something a little bit more rich in color for the holidays because you guys know I love to sparkles. Again, another return back to H&M. Very beautiful. And I think anybody who wants an affordable sequin dress, this is a great option. The sequins don't look like they are too loosely packed on. Like sometimes when they do that, it just looks cheap. It actually looks really beautiful. It's just not gonna really serve exactly what I want. So I'll be sending this one back. It fits nicely though. Do I get sucked into trends? Yes, 100%. If you guys have been following online, then you'll know that the Miu Miu Ballet Flats are back in full force and people love wearing them with leg warmers. I went through a whole stage in high school where all I wore was leg warmers and flats as well. So it kind of feels full circle having them trend back again. I don't know where I put my leg warmers. They're probably in my room somewhere at my parents' house in Ottawa. So I'll probably have to look during the holidays and see if I can find them. But by then when I come back, we can't even wear ballet flats at that point anymore. It's gonna be way too cool. So I've seen some people do this after I actually purchased these with this intention and it kind of like reinforced the idea that like, okay, maybe you're onto something Vic. So I didn't want to buy more leg warmers, but H&M had these really cute arm warmers in this beige color. And you guys know I'm a sucker for beige anything. So I figured not only can I use them as an arm warmer if I want to, like, look how cute this is. It just looks very like, I don't know, Y2K like. I could wear this with a blazer over top and I think it would look so chic. I tried it. I can also put it on my face. Feet. So I think I'm gonna try to use these as leg warmers too. They're very soft. It's a very like smooth knit on your skin. It's not scratchy at all. It's super stretchy. So you can put it on your feet if you want to. I believe they only have these available in one size though. And it's very perfectly fitted for me. And I know I'm on the more petite side. So I don't necessarily know if this will translate well for everybody. But if you're on the lookout for leg warmers and you don't want them to be too thick knitted and loose and bunchy, you can look into arm warmers and just like stretch them out a little bit more and use them as leg warmers. So that's gonna be my save from this haul. I really love this one. So adorable. And I think the color is perfect for everything I have in mind. And when it comes to color palettes for the fall winter time, you can never have a little bit too much sparkle when it comes to the holidays. So when my eye landed on this bag, I was like, you need to get it and test it out. So I have a couple sparkle bags already, two of them from Evernew. I have been eyeing the Benedetta Brzuches. Bruz oh, I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. The little, I think it's like a, it's called the, the mini bag. I forget exact name of it, but I will link it down below for the inspo for this one. It is like $1,500 and I don't know if I'm ready to drop that much money for a crystallized bag, albeit it is very beautifully designed and super reflective and very beautiful. When I saw this one at H&M, I was like, you know what? I think that's gonna be an occasion bag. Let's try this one out and see if this will work for me and provide exactly what I want out of kind of like one of those sparkle bags. This is much more affordable. It kind of looks like that bag that I wanted 
added minus the buckle on the side. There's not a lot of structure to this. It will slouch a lot. And this type of material, it's like a chain mail, but with like sparkles. It's very lightweight and it does not hold a shape. Right now there's stuffing in here. I just took it out so I can show you what it looks like when there's nothing in the bag itself. It kind of slouches like this. Like see how this falls down? I wish it kind of would just keep its shape a little bit more and be more like a flatter, firmer shoulder bag. It kind of gives me like Fenny baguette vibe, but very slouchy baguette vibes. And I don't really like that. So you see how it kind of like dangles forward and it pulls on the straps. I think over time it's going to cause a lot of damage to the bag if it does that. There is a shaper in the base, so it keeps it kind of flat, but it's a very flimsy shaper. And if anything, I think it just helps to keep the bag more stretched out as opposed to firm. So I don't know if I want to keep this. One thing I did really like about the bag though, is that it actually has a zip enclosure. So you can zip it completely shut if you're going to keep valuables in this. I see myself taking this bag to parties, like clubs, New Year's Eve, even outside of New Year's. It's very much a party bag. So the fact that it has a zip is great because that's going to give you an extra level added sense of security to it. And then you put the flap over and that really like truly seals the bag. Not that it's going to prevent anyone from like stealing your bag if they really wanted to, but it's going to make it a lot more difficult for them to get inside your bag and take your possessions out if that's what they want to do. They're going to see the flap and be like, oh my God, that's so easy to get into the bag. Let's open it up and put my hands in. But nope, there is a zip. So I do like that. The strap is not adjustable. So it sits on one length on your shoulder here. I think if you're going to put things that are way too heavy in this, it definitely will sink and create a lot of sag in this bag. So I think for the occasion that I want to use this bag for kind of more just like here and there specialty stuff, it'll do its job. It might actually be a better investment to get this than the $1,500 one because I don't exactly know how often I would take that bag out of my closet to use. Whereas this one, I think will be a couple times. It will serve its use case scenario and then I'll just leave it in my closet for a few future opportunities for myself to use it, I think I would be okay with it as opposed to knowing that like I spent a lot in this bag and I'm not getting a lot of use out of it. So this is the one few times where I think is this justified for occasion use. You can get away with getting some sort of dupe like this and that's a little bit cheaper because honestly guys, I don't know about you, but when it comes to sparkle bags, they kind of all look the same to me. And like even the Call It Gaia bag, I think that's like 600 some dollars. I just can't bring myself to purchasing it even though it's half the price of the Benedetta one. It's just so expensive for an occasion bag that I don't know how long I'm gonna use it for. And it's been trendy for the past year. So the trend is probably itself gonna disappear after a year or two. Although I would say don't buy things for trends, buy them for your personal style. I think this is chic. It's a very much a party bag. I just, I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it. So I think an H&M one is good for my purposes. So this one I'll be keeping because I think it's a good addition to my closet. I've been looking for a bag in this kind of like baguette style shape and this is gonna serve the purpose that I need it to. All right guys, that's everything for my H&M haul. It's a little bit smaller of a haul than I'm used to doing for H&M or any other hauls in general, but I do wanna go overboard and I saw a lot of really pretty pieces. A lot of the stuff I actually wanted was already sold out my size. I had a sequin skirt that was supposed to come with this order, but then I got an email last minute and they were like, no, it's out of stock. So you're not going to be getting it with this order. I was like, okay, great. I wanted to pair it with that silver shirt, but that shirt didn't work out anyway. So whatever. Guess it worked out to my favor. I'm only essentially going to be keeping it two things out of this haul and their accessories because everything else, it just didn't fit or practicality wise, it's not going to work with my closet and the accessories are filling holes in my closet that I'm looking to fill. So I think that is very much justified on my end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm gonna be working together on like a holiday outfits video to provide some inspo if you have some upcoming holiday parties to attend or events or galas. And just more because it's fun for me because I know I have a lot coming up and I always rack my mind last minute to figure out like what do I have in my closet to wear? But if I create myself a video, then I kind of have like my own lookbook to refer back to. Keep an eye out for that. I hope you guys enjoy it. And in the meantime, let me know which of the pieces were your favorite down below in the comments and which ones you think I should keep slash have returned if they were different from my personal take on the stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you guys know where to find me on Instagram and on TikTok. I post on both those platforms a little bit more than YouTube, but we're going to see if I can get back into Vlogmas this year. I think I can try. I don't know if I can go back to a video a day for the entire December because that is a lot. I don't know if I can edit a video every single day, especially with a baby. So I might just try to go back up to like, I don't know, two videos a week, like one normal video and one weekly vlog and then get that out for you guys and then revisit this down the road. But I'm gonna try to do some sort of Vlogmas because it was a lot of fun and I love being able to document it. And this is gonna be Harrison's like first awake Christmas. Last year, he was like a month old and he was just sleeping the whole time. It was so sweet, bless his heart. I wanna capture his first awake Christmas. He's gonna be getting lots of gifts and presents and having lots of parties with friends. So I think it's more, if anything, a memory thing for me. But as always, I am very excited for you guys to see the upcoming videos. I have some really fun ones planned out for the holidays. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing my 12 days giveaways again. And this year I'm posting on my TikTok. So make sure to follow all of my info down below in the description box. I will link my TikTok account and you guys can find me there if you want to follow along for the giveaway. But I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a good day. Love you. Bye.